This weekend, daylight saving time ends, so here's your friendly reminder to set those clocks back. And all new for you at 5, News 4's Leah Hill has another reminder for this weekend. There is something to look forward to this weekend. Get an extra hour of sleep, don't have to show up to class. Daylight saving time ends early Sunday morning. When we enter standard time, come spring, we'll pay for that extra hour. I'm not looking forward to That's it. That's too far in the future, not thinking about yeah. it right now. <laughs> Let's jump to the past. Daylight saving was introduced around the Second World War to save electricity in the winter. In the end, that really hasn't panned out. It turns out that in many places, we actually use more energy. Washington University biology professor Eric Herzog 10, cells says the change the also isn't good for our biological clocks. When people spring forward, there's an increase in risk. For example, more heart attacks, more car accidents. And in the fall, we see a decrease in those same events. While you adjust to the change by switching the clocks, remember this. Use the time change as an opportunity to check your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors. If you have an older model, the fire department wants you to switch them out. If you have a smoke detector that has batteries in it that you can change, like double A AA or triple A's, we want you to actually think about getting rid of those and getting a new smoke detector. The newer model comes with a built-in battery. Call us, we'll come out and replace it free. Next, test your detectors this weekend. If it beeps, it's working. Leah Hill, News 4.